Hey, Mike. <laughs> What's going on, Sean? I am really excited. So am I. So this beer was our favorite beer of last year. One of our favorite beers. Yeah, of one year. of our favorites. Candy from Strangers, the original was really fun. Well, at least the one we had last year was really, really good. So Candy from Strangers, the original version was episode 309 of Nerd Sense, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it was a collaboration with Arizona Wilderness out of Arizona. Duh. And it was an Imperial Stout, oh, other half, an Imperial Stout uh, brewed with apples and caramel. Yep. And it absolutely... It blew our dicks off. Literally blew our dicks off. Literally blew our dicks off. Literally. Well, <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> and this, 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 this is Candy from Strangers, the bourbon barrel age version, aged one year on Willet bourbon Bourbon barrels with peanut butter, cacao nibs, and vanilla, 14.3%. I thought I said 15. I'm sorry. You said 15.4. You feel better now? Yeah, uh, 1% is a big yeah. difference. Um, the, so this 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 is a big thank you to um, my buddy Vachi. So we we had a Vermont trip with Larry and our buddy John, and Vachi knew how much I love this beer. So he sent them both down with the silver version and the gold version of this and said, just tell Sean, drink one of the bottles and then bring one back up. So I sent pictures of Mike both bottles. I said, pick one. We're going to drink one while we're here mm-hmm. and I'll bring one back for you. Yep. Took the peanut butter, cacao nibs, vanilla, which is, I think is the... Why wouldn't I? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Why what, wouldn't what, I? what was the other one? I don't remember. But Not peanut butter, cacao kind of nibs, no. The other one was really good. But I'm a, I'm a, I love peanut butter. But what we're surmising from the descriptions is this is this the base stout that they brewed before they did the apples and caramel. Yeah, because it does say the base of this bourbon barrel aged imperial stout was brewed last Halloween with our buddies at Arizona Wilderness and aged from one year in Willet Barrels, giving it a great bourbon forward character. The gold version was then conditioned on peanut butter, cacao nibs, and vanilla. Good lord. And I think I'm pretty sure in the review of the original, I said, I don't even know what, what regular bourbon barrels would do to this. I think that's good for now. We'll make it even. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, just over pours. Jesus. That's that much at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I think actually we're good. Because you're at the. Uh, I'm trees. just I'm just below the, below the logo. You're you're you have another almost a centimeter. We're alcoholics. We're gonna make sure it goes right. Okay. That's perfect. Nailed it. Actually, I have a little bit more. Anyway. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> what? Oh, you need a little bit more? I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh, you need a little. No, it's no, fine. no, don't worry about it. I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You just take the ball of your face. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing to my the, face. Yeah, uh, head for 13.4 percent. That what head? Yeah, exactly. And it's pitch fucking black. Alcohol legs for days. Actually, a little bit light brown, I think. Eh, maybe not. Eh, murky. It's dark as fuck. Yeah. It's got a nose. Good lord! It smells like chocolate cake. It smells like chocolate cake. It smells like you got a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of apple mist, uh, appleiness too. A little like, bit, yeah. And you get the tinge of nut. Yeah, Sean. Dude, it smells like, like, like a chocolate cake. If you smell it super deep, it's just fucking straight ethanol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit of burn there. Yeah. Dude. You ever know German chocolate cake, a little bit of nut, and just like <laughs> barrel, booze. Yeah, I've just a faint whiff of like peanuts. It's mostly just like like chocolate cake, like dark chocolate cake. And it's just like alcohol eggs. Yeah, it just looks syrupy as fuck. I was checking his email. Jesus Christ! It's a work email. I wish it was, wasn't was as important as it is. Well, that's our problem for starting to do reviews at 2 in the afternoon. That's also a problem. Cheers. Cheers, sir. I have to say, I, I've said before in other reviews, other half has to be the hands down some of the best. <laughs> I know it's a collaboration, and they've been, and we said it before in other other collaboration videos with other half. They have to be hands down some of the best stouts 
I've had. Dessert Boy Stouts, at least. This stout is... <laughs> right? I don't think we've ever been so floored. Uh, I'm just basing this off of Mike's silence that he actually likes his beer. He's going to come out and go, this beer sucks. I've never been this so... This is... Thoroughly next level. I right. I don't know what to say. I have I have I have goosebumps. So. This beer is. I think we had the same th- same. Th- th- this beer and then remember the beer that that, that they did with with uh, crack brewing in Italy. Oh my uh, god! Uh, Good the, lord! The, the strawberry the, yeah. cream. Yeah, whatever that was Pana called. Fragole. For yeah. <sighs> Dude. Jesus fucking Christ. So let's describe this beer while everyone just watches us. This, this tastes like it, it. This tastes like like you morphed a dark chocolate cake with a light dusting, more or less, of peanuts, and turned that into a beer. The peanuts are there, but it's not overpowering. No, it is perfect. In in. When I got the nose, and I didn't get a whole lot of peanut butter. I was like, okay, I'm a peanut butter guy. And when you take a sip, you're like, oh, I see what they did there. They made it better. Just conditioned. Yeah. Makes and even, even, even like, like I, I am a, a, a uh, gassy guy. Not like farty, but like in burpy. And by the burps are pleasant. Beer burps are the worst. And the booze is definitely there. Not in a warming sense. Not really get too much warming. But you can get, you can tell that there's mm. booze in it. Mm. Um, and it's just this, the, the burp, there's a, I feel like the barrels are kind of, so, so, the, so the original beer was 13%, so this only added 0.4%, but I, I feel like the, the barrels are a little wet because you're getting a lot of bourbony. Well, there's vanilla in it too, but like the, the character of this beer, like the way the mouthfeel is, the mouthfeel is very like you're almost drinking like, like, like a bourbon beer mixture. It's like it's like it's, it's not creamy. It's syrupy, but not syrupy. It's not yeah, it, watery it's, syrup. Yeah, it's syrupy, but and you think it would be, but it washes away so quickly. Yeah, and the thing is, is beyond all that is, it's like it is the bourbon is there, but in all the ways. Um, it, in all the ways that you wish all beers had, like you know, sometimes again with the so astringent and boozy and kind of, sh- it's not like that. It, it's like all these things are melting perfectly. And you know, honestly, I the vanilla is sort of the weird disappointment because I'm like, man, vanilla. I'm getting the vanilla character, but I you'd imagine at the way you're getting it, you're getting it from the barrel, not so much that it comes from actual cacao beer. nibs. Are we getting chocolate? Uh, yeah. You know, it can, even cannot. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> even cacao nibs sort of can get me vanilla notes sometimes. But I'm not getting an overwhelming wash of vanilla. I'm getting that little bit of like perfect amount, like the perfect like hint of it. It comes more on the nose, I feel. But yeah, that the hint of vanilla. You're right. But like you can get that out of a barrel a lot of times. Yeah. You know, this is fucking crazy good. Magnificent. Crazy good. You know, in the first month of the year, we had so many beers that blew my fucking mind. I was like, all right, we got pretty much our top 10 of the year already. This is the first one in a while that has jumped You're right. to that part of the line. You're right, and it's May. I want to see when... What, well, what it's not going to be May. Did you just make a make a Backstreet Boys joke? Mm. Did you just make a Backstreet Boys joke? I didn't. You did? Who I did, did not. You did. Want to bet me a bottle? I think you. May, it's gonna be May. Bet me, bet me a bottle. I did. Bet me a bottle. A bottle of what? Something. Like this? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'll bet you a bottle of uh, stale Budweiser. Fuck. Um, News. The blonde dude, Timberlake, he was part of NSYNC. Not Bashy Boys. I win. Give me a bottle. <laughs> 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 So yeah, we, we, we reviewed the original version of this September third, twenty eighteen. It was awesome. Not this awesome. 
I literally didn't think it could get any better than this. Yep, and it, it did. I'm still thinking, like, remember that caramel appleness? The way that tastes like a barrel aged beer to us. Like we. No, it was awesome. It was awesome. All right, I know. I can tell you this much. I have not had a stout that blew my I'm fucking so dick off as this bad in a while. I know that. No, this is just out of this world. I was excited about this beer. I was excited I was going too. in. I, I was. I was a little. I was excited, but also I was a little bit apprehensive just because of how much the other beer, I, how much the other beer, meant to me, hype wise. I didn't have any apprehension going in. I all I had was was with ex- excited excitability so everything like if i wasn't excited going in imagine how much i would like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is fucking ridiculous yeah i'm i'm literally like every step i'm just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. and then you take those little steps and you just get this like is it's it's very it's very boozy you get this like hit of, hit of the barrel i don't think it's boozy I got a little bit of like a tinge of a booze, but it, it, it complements it. And like the peanut just rushes through. But yeah, I, I, I'm not getting like, like I'm not getting burn burn, or I'm getting heat. Like, I'm getting I'm getting some of the flavor of, of yeah. the bourbon. No, I'm getting like, the bourbon flavor. I'm getting a little yeah. bit of like a, like a bourbon harshness, but it's like not in a bad way either. It's like perfectly blended with. I'm literally getting almost like a a a cakey type brownie, like something that's super rich chocolate yeah, with a little bit cake. of peanut, almost like a dusting of it. A little bit of booze, just that faint whiff of um, of vanilla. It is just this big dessert. See, why the fuck don't restaurants have this in, in lieu of dessert? <laughs> this is stellar. This is at absolutely, if we were going back to our whole rating system, this is a 5.0 fucking slam dunk. Five, 100%. Slam dunk. 100%. Slam dunk. This is I wanna beautifully, get, I get more of this. beautifully constructed beer. Man, okay. Let us know in the comments if you've had the original candy from strangers from Arizona Wilderness. And I know I said this in my first. We we said this in the first review. We wanted to get. We want to try regular Arizona Wilderness stuff. Like, so if anyone is near Arizona Wilderness and gets their stuff, I would love to try. Just we. No, sorry, don't. I both of us would. So let us know if if it's possible we can work out a trade. Um, but yeah, let us know if you've had the regular version of this, the gold version. I think the silver version is the other one. I forget what was in it. I did have it. I wasn't that blown away. Um, it was a sample, like small little samples. Um, but this is just knocking my socks off. Again, thank you, Vachi, for this. This is this is out of this world. I never met you, but man, I... He's actually from Nashville, but he lives down in North Carolina now. It's funny. He was Larry's realtor. He uh, traded down. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe down there. You know what's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Oh, and I learned something new the other day. When you're subscribing, don't just subscribe. Also, click the little bell button. Apparently, the little bell button also, instead of just subscribing, it also notifies you every time we post a new video. So that that, that way you uh, are you know. always you always know you always know when we're posting a new video because I know everyone is waiting for it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm Sean, and I'm embarrassed. And this is Nerd Sense. <laughs>